seems every automaker wants to catch BMW's 3 Series, add a V8, suspension modifications, and a whole host of upgrades, and it becomes the legendary M3, making this car pretty tough to keep up with. To those who love to drive, the BMW M3 is widely considered as one of the best performance cars on the planet. The only way to improve this vehicle? Chop the top off. M3s are available in coupe and sedan versions, but a push of a button makes this model more than just a car. It's also a very fast tanning booth. Weight and balance are critical for performance cars. While I have to guess that the hardtop mechanics make this car more top heavy than a fixed roof M3, it remains a joy to throw into a corner. The structure is as solid as the Deutschmark these days. My main gripe with the lid is that there's no glass panel feature found in other hardtop drop tops. Wedged under the hood is a sophisticated 4-liter V8 that pumps out 414 silky smooth horses. Get this, the V8 is 7% lighter than the previous M3's inline six. A driver can fine tune the electronic stability control and the ride firmness, then store that setting for instant recall with this optional M drive button. My tester comes with a great six speed manual. A seven speed double clutch unit with an automatic mode is optional. Those who like to be pushed back into their seats will love the M3. From a stop sign, the rear wheels will sling it to 60 miles an hour in around five seconds. Some high-performance cars are twitchy and finicky in stop-and-go traffic. The M3 remains relatively docile. Not for the fuel frugal. I'm seeing 14 miles to the gallon using required premium. What did you expect? Peering out from the 18-inch wheels are terrific brakes. 14.2-inch discs up front, 13.8 in the rear. Stopping power is very impressive. Aside from some badging and a speedometer, that means business. The interior is similar to a standard 3 Series. Bolstered chairs keep folks from sliding around during high-speed hijinks, and there's plenty of safety features, including protection for your knees. Of course, the 3 Series has quirks like cup holders that are hard to reach, the iDrive user interface that's awkward to use, and turn signals that take some time getting used to. Good thing the M3 is fast. Average-sized adults will have just enough room for short trips back here. Moving to the trunk, there's good news with the convertible top up. Cargo room is expanded by 50%. The bad news? That's only three packs. To drop the top, a cover needs to snap into place. But hey, sunny weather means less clothing and luggage, right? Starting at around 66,000 bucks, sun lovers pay a premium of 12 grand over the sedan. And since all M3s are as rare as blue sky in Seattle, expect skyward adjustment of that price at the dealership. For those who have the means, the M3 is hard to beat. The convertible, it's the hard top to beat. Recently, there's been some controversy in the automotive blogosphere. Car and Driver magazine took the M3 here and put it up against two of the most formidable cars on the planet, the Porsche 911 Turbo and the new Nissan GTR. The winner? The M3. Now, if you want more information about the M3, go to the website, www.nwcn.com autos. There's always a longer review there and a link to my email. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.